Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It's time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Uh, good morning and welcome. Everybody everywhere except Instagram. I was talking to the Instagram folks because they don't get to hear the intro. Uh, good morning. Welcome. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, and this is the show. We're talking about how to start growing and enjoy the benefits of entrepreneurship. I'm going to change that around a little bit because one of the, the theories I'm working here is... Um, Entrepreneurship applies whether you own your own business or whether you're working for somebody else. We'll get into that a little bit as we unpack this. But for today, we are talking about, we're continuing this uh, kind of theme we started yesterday with choices and decisions. And um, uh, we're going to work on that a little bit. We've got a quote from, <laughs> you know, it's funny. There's just some great quotes that I love and I use a lot that don't really come from business people. Like the one I'm going to use today is from Einstein. You wouldn't think about him as a business kind of person, uh, but he is. Uh, before I get there and before I get into that, <coughs> excuse me, if you guys would do me a favor, leave me a comment, say hi, say hello, how you doing? What the heck's that chicken doing back over your shoulder? Uh, any of those things will be acceptable. You can do uh, that just like Joe and Jessica and Abby have already done. Um, that lets me know that you're watching and that you are paying attention to the show. All right, a little sip of coffee. And we're ready to go. So today's quote from Einstein, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use to create them. We can't. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use to create them. And the chicken's fine, by the way. Thanks. He's just stationary right there. Um, here, here's the point, right? If you are stuck, if you're frustrated, if you are not getting the results or the outcomes that you want, there's one potentially big reason why. It's because you're thinking about about it incorrectly. And I'm going to bring this around to expectations, Right. It's the example that I love to use. If you go in the bank and it takes 15 minutes and you expected it to take 30 minutes, when you come out, you're happy. On the other hand, if you go in the bank and you expected it to take five and it takes 15 minutes, you're mad. Well, what's the difference? Both, both trips into the bank took 15 minutes. The only difference is how you think about it. Right? So if every time you go into the bank, oh, God, it's just, I'm just going to be mad. This is going to be irritating or substitute whatever, you know, it can be the DMV. It can be a grocery store. It can be whatever it is for you. If you go in thinking it's going to be frustrating, it's going not going to work. I'm going to be pissed off. Then you will be. You will create that result. Right. There's this thing in our brain, the self-fulfilling prophecies. If we believe that that's what it's going to be, then we start to act like it's already that way. And then we turn it into whatever it is we're thinking about. So if you are frustrated, if you want different results and if you need different outcomes, just begin thinking about it differently. Now, that's not exactly the context that Einstein used when he made this quote, but the point remains if we continue to think about things the way that we always have, then we are going to continue to get the results that we've always gotten. And if you're happy with those, man, more power to you. You're on the right track. Keep going, right? But if you want something different, if the results that you want out of your life, out of your business, out of relationship, your health, your employment, and if you want anything different than what you have right now, then you have to change the way that you're thinking about it. And, you know, at the risk of stepping on some toes that, that might be listening, 
if you want to create, if you want to get out of a current, uh, how can I say this? If you want to get out of your current situation and create something new for yourself, you have to begin thinking about it in a different way, right? So, for example, I have a client whom I work with who sells, uh, I'm making some of these circumstances up for privacy reasons, sells refrigerators, but wants to sell golf carts. Okay. Well, don't, and, and so, you know, she's trying to be the best refrigerator salesperson on the planet. I'm like, stop thinking about it that way. You're not a refrigerator salesman. You are a golf cart salesman who is selling refrigerators. Think about it a different way, right? If you are an employee and you desperately want to go out on your own, think about yourself as a temp. Don't think about yourself as an employee. Go ahead and create the mindset that you are a temp, that that this gig is in, is over at the end of the month or wherever your date happens to be set. If you start thinking about it that way, we can use, when we do that, then we can use this self-fulfilling prophecy mechanism in our brain to create the reality that we want, right? If I believe I'm a temp and my, my temp job's up at the end of the month and I start thinking that way and I start different things, that activates a different part of your brain, the reticular activating system, and it starts bringing new opportunities to you. They're really there all the time. You just don't see them until you tell your brain that they're important. All right. So here's the important takeaway. This is the thing that I want you to remember today. Okay. If you are frustrated, tired, stuck, not getting the results that you want, how are you thinking about the results that you want? There was a great line out of uh, the Patriot with Mel Gibson when he was talking to his sons, aim small, miss small, right? If you aim down here, you're going to miss down here. If you aim up here, you're going to miss down here. And you're still well ahead of where you are currently. All right. That's it for today. It is Tuesday. That means it's radio show today. And I got to hustle up and get out of here so I can get down there, have a special, should have a special surprise guest waiting on me at the studio when I get there. So be sure and tune in to find out who that is. You can catch all of that. Fantastic action at talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Get you to the right place to watch and participate in that show. I hope that you will be there. If you're watching on Instagram, I'm going to do my best. Have Instagram up and running this week as well. Uh, as well. So be sure and tune in for uh, all of that. Uh, one, oh, yeah, one final thing, if and only if you got value from our time together today, I would appreciate it if you'd give me the old likes, hearts, thumbs up, stars, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching, and share this video with somebody that you know that could benefit from it. I'll be back here again in the morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you guys have a great Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oops. Button stop. Thanks.